Hello. So today we're going to talk again about how to retrospectively add devices to Apple's automated device enrollment. I say again because we've actually done this session before, but the user interface has changed on both Meraki and ADE, so it's time for a refresh. So why would you want to do this? Well, it's possible that you already have Apple devices that are not added to Apple's ADE instance. This might be because they're second-hand, you've had them for some considerable time, or you might have just bought them from Apple retail stores. So let's get started. With our device connected to our Mac and Apple Configurator open, we're going to click on Apple Configurator and Settings. We're going to click on Organizations and add a new organization. And here we're going to sign in with our school or business.apple.com settings. When prompted, we're going to create a new supervision identity and enter our Mac password. And there we go, we've created our organization and you can see that this has pulled all of the information in for us. We're now going to click on servers and we're going to create a new MDM server. Now we'll give this a name and before we do that, we'll go back to Systems Manager, Add Devices, we'll click on iOS and the information that you'll see needed is under here for Apple Configurator. Ensure that you correctly choose 2.0 plus. We'll give it a name, my SM, and we will paste in the URL. We will we'll click next, and there we go. That's our server created as well. Now what we can do is dismiss this window, and we're going to select the device or devices and click prepare. Now, we're not going to activate and complete enrollment here, but we're going to tick everything else. You might want to tick shared iPad if you're doing this in education as well. We're going to click our server that we created earlier, our organization, and we're not going to do anything with regards to steps. And we can add a Wi-Fi configuration here as well. And this is it. We now wait for the device to go through the steps. It's worth mentioning that this takes some time to do. It's also worth mentioning that you can only do this to a device which is either brand new or has been wiped. In this particular case, it took nearly two minutes to go through the process. So there we go. That's our device all prepared and added to Apple Configurator and to ADE. So let's now move over to SM and now to Apple School Manager or Apple Business Manager. Now the interface doesn't normally show you uh, the activity um, immediately. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go down to uh, devices. We'll wait for this to refresh and we're going to click sort and we're going to do um, latest, newest first rather, and you'll see that we've got my device enrolled here. So we can edit the MDM server and I've got the MDM server already added uh, for brevity. So we'll click continue, we'll click confirm and that is our device added to the right MDM server in school or business.apple.com. So let's now move over to Systems Manager. We're going to go down to ADE and we're going to now um, wait for it to do its synchronization and you'll see that our new device is there at the bottom. We can assign settings, which we've created earlier or create a new one and we're all done. Thank you.